Hello everybody and welcome back to another Starfield video. Today I have one that is going to make you insanely rich. Now this one's got a lot going for it and I don't want to waste too much time getting into it. So honestly, just if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, the classic YouTube stuff. And without further ado, let's get right into this. There's a lot of good stuff with this, so we need to get into it. Alright, so to begin, you are going to want to use this ship. This is the Razor Leaf, and if you don't know what it is and how to get it, you need to defeat Spacers, or I believe Ecliptics as well, but definitely Spacers, and they'll have a chance of dropping this Secret Outpost Message Slate. When you read that, you will get your quest called Mantis. It is what is going to give you this armor. So if you have this armor and you just didn't recognize the ship, that means you have the ship because you get both of them at the same time. Now, once you do this quest, once you get these items, you have to be using the Razor Leaf ship because it's an event that can only happen when you're flying around with it. All right, so to do this, it actually it might take a bit of time. I am not going to lie with you. The greatest way to farm this is to just jump around system to system. I got mine in a system not controlled by any major faction. I don't know if that plays any key part or not, but I'm just letting you know. It is also extremely, extremely annoying to try and get, so don't expect it to be on your third go. Don't expect it to be on your fifth go. Maybe you will. Maybe you'll be lucky. But it might take you some time. So just main the ship and go around and be the Mantis. Once you get this hail from jumping the Spacer Coyote, that is when you know you've made it. When you get the Spacer Coyote, all you're going to want to do is follow along. Select the top most dialogue choice on the first tree. When you do this, you are going to get 4,500 credits or 4,500 that's a good amount of credits on its own, especially for just having to hail and not doing anything. But that's not where it ends. He will give you a second dialogue option. When he does that, choose the top option again, and throughout his dialogue, he's going to give you 800 more credits. That's 5,300 credits, roughly, that you're going to get just by talking to him. Now, when he brings up a third dialogue option, do not click anything. Just back out. Whatever button it is for you to back out of dialogue without choosing a dialogue option, do it. So be on Xbox for me, back out, and then hail him again. When you hail him again, he's going to bring you back your dialogue options, right back how it was at the start. Do the first one, the top one, on the first two dialogue options, and on the third dialogue option, hit B and back out, and you'll make another 5,300. Right here is my inventory. Look at the bottom left, just to show you and prove it. I had 55,000 credits. We're going to do this again, so let's see. To show you that it's repetitive, I just got another 4,500, another 800. So if we look back, there it is. We have 60,000 credits. So as you can see, it is repetitive and you can keep doing it over and over and over and over again. So doing the math, I wanted to see how much credits you can make from this exploit in an hour. And when doing the math, I came up to, if you were able to do this, in an average of 23 seconds, which is the fastest I was able to do it while still being cautious about what buttons I press, I was going to be able to get over 800,000 credits. And it's insane. It is just insane. Now, I will say that this is a bit of a rare event, or at least I have just been unlucky. It is one of the two. So when you get this, to make sure you don't have any hiccups, I highly recommend saving before ever taking his first hail. And then I highly recommend that you save after every couple attempts you do. That way, in case you accidentally hit a button a little bit too far and he flies away, like you accidentally hit the third options, then he's gonna go away. So, I just want to say, yet again, make sure you save. I feel like that's very important because if you don't save every couple and then if something happens and you only saved at the start, then you're going to have to do it all over again. But if you save every four or five runs, then, I mean, you know, these are pretty fast. These are very fast. Probably do two, three, four runs a, a minute, depending on how fast you can go. So 
you probably should be able to just kind of make it all back right at the start. So definitely make sure you save every here and there. All right, so let's switch gears a bit. When I was doing this, I accidentally backed out on the second dialogue option. So I went and did the first one, got my 4,500, and then I backed out on the second one. And I thought I might have messed it up, but I didn't. Which kind of brought me to a new revelation. What if I only did 4,500 and then I backed out? And it actually sped things up. I was starting to make caps caps my fallout brain's kicking in i was making a lot of credits like crazy so i did the math again and in an hour i would have made a million and two hundred thousand credits if i kept doing this it is insane that would be one hour and i would pretty much be set for life there's no doubt that credits are not the absolute most used thing around and especially in high quantities but with over a million and doing this one time you're honestly set i know shipbuilding might cost you a lot so that might drain your caps credits <laughs> but overall this is the best method i can ever find i have over 250,000 credits, two and a half thousand, two hundred and a half thousand credits. I have over 250,000 credits from doing this for not even like 10 minutes. At most, maybe 15. I don't even know if it was 10 minutes, but I'm just going to round it up to 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm rich. This is the best method you could ever get. Take advantage of this as early as possible. Set the razor leaf as your ship and fly around. Just do your normal stuff and wait for it to spawn or try to farm it yourself. Just jumping and jumping and jumping. And I hope you get it because this is amazing. Do I think they will take this out? Honestly, I don't. It is very rare to get this event or at least it was for me yet again. I might have just been unlucky and you might get it first go. But I did not get it very fast, so I don't know how rare this is, but I just don't see them taking it out. And if they do, then honestly, that sucks. <laughs> but definitely take advantage of this as fast as you can. So I would recommend when you're done with this and you've done as much as you want, you've gotten as many credits as you would like, go ahead and just fly away. Just grab jump away. I don't know if it's going to do something odd, like if you kill him, that he will never spawn again. I don't know if it's going to do anything like that. Honestly, I don't even think you should risk that. So I would say just leave. Don't even reply and let him escape. Just leave everything and grab jump away. That would be my honest opinion for how to stop this. And I'm guaranteeing that there's, he's going to have to reapproach you eventually at some point, when meaning that you can do this at a later date whenever he arrives. In other words, you probably have some good time between to spend all those credits and then get him back when you see him again. I would also like to mention that if you have any extra questions about this, please do leave it in the comments. I will try to answer every single one, or at least as many as I can. So some final thoughts that I'm going to just leave here right here right now is going to be just a couple. One of them is going to be, I don't know if you get more or less credits depending on levels, skills, etc. So if you do, please let me know in the comments. I obviously cannot test that. I'm level 89 at the time of making this. So if you do get more or you do get less, it might have to do with levels, perks. If that's the case, then maybe doing both two dialogue options and getting the full two times credits is maybe worth it for you, depending on if you get less or more. Or it might not be. Hence why I want to show you both methods and give you both an idea. My overall opinion is just do the first dialogue option and then back out on the second. That also gives you more room for error. So that way, in case you accidentally hit A on the second dialogue option, you can still back out on the third. Instead of hitting A by accident on the third one, and that just ruins it. So don't forget to save your game between a couple runs of it. Don't forget to use this like crazy. And don't forget that you have to be with the Razor Leaf ship, the Mantis ship. 
And I think that is going to do it here today. I hope you guys take advantage of this and make the fat loot. This is one of the greatest credits method ever, and I can't believe that I have not seen this on YouTube yet. If it is out there, I just have not seen it. But this is in flipping sane. You guys need to take advantage of this right now as soon as possible. And with that, I don't have much more to say. I'm going to wish you all the best of luck at getting it to spawn. Hopefully, it's just a luck thing and you guys are going to get it instantly. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you in the Starfield. <laughs>